is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the gentlelady for yielding. I also want to thank Mr. Smith and, and my colleagues and all who are in Washington, D.C. today participating in the March for Life for their unwavering commitment and support to fight on behalf of those who have no voice. Uh, throughout my years in Congress, uh, Madam Speaker, and as a devoted human rights advocate, I have fought tirelessly for the fundamental rights of the innocent unborn. As pro-life members of Congress, we have a commitment to stand up for life and to take the necessary steps to advance legislation to the floor. And that is exactly what the U.S. House of Representatives will be doing today. While the vast majority of Americans can agree that we must uh, have, uh, we have a lot of work in front of us to reduce the number of abortions, few legislators have taken any meaningful action. In fact, pro-abortion members of Congress have sought to eliminate federal protections on the use of taxpayer funds for abortions, both here and abroad. Federal funds should not be used to pay for abortions, M Madam Speaker, and Congressman Smith's bill would do exactly that by establishing a permanent prohibition on taxpayer subsidies for abortion and abortion coverage. This will help save lives. In addition, this bill also protects the conscience and religious views of millions of Americans. The vast majority of Americans also do not want their tax dollars to be used to pay for abortions. This bill would establish a permanent prohibition on taxpayer subsidies for abortion. For many years, the Hyde Amendment and other federal prohibitions on public funding for abortion have been enacted as appropriation riders, but they are not permanent, Madam Speaker. We need to get rid of this patchwork approach and enact H.R. 7 to ensure that federal funds are not used to pay for abortion. I look for, uh, forward to working with uh, Mr. Smith and Ms. Fox. And, and others in favor of this bill, and to continue working with my fellow pro-life uh, colleagues in the House and the Senate to promote legislation that upholds the uh, sanctity of innocent human life. We have a responsibility to protect the unborn, and we was, must remain vigilant and continue to do what is right for all Americans. I thank the gentlelady for yielding me time. Thank you, Madam Speaker.